Yo, I'm back with another reaction, guys. I know you're happy to see me. You better be. You better be happy to see me, you know. No, I'm playing. But yeah, man. Ah, right, cool. I just listened to um, D Thang. I don't know if he's involved with anything to do with this in it, but I saw this video come up in my recommended, so I was like, cool. Let me react to it. But it is, it's beef related videos in it, and. I don't like to promote beef, but at the same time, I like to understand what goes on behind the scenes of music, in it. And if there's one thing I've learned from London Drill, yeah, like the beef and the music goes hand in hand, and it's like when you understand the beef, yeah, it makes the music ten times better. So I can imagine it's the same. Oh shit! Something just happened. One sec. I kind of just want to get a little bit of a backstory of. See, I just reacted to D Thang. I don't know if this has got anything to do with him, but I saw this in my recommended. So I'm just gonna get straight into it. And uh, yeah, let's see what it's saying, man. I can tell this is probably gonna be a mad video, but let's go. Man. The Bronx is a wild place. It's the borough with the most crime and is well known for gang activity. The Bronx drill sound is on the rise and is fueling the deadly war between three gangs: the OGs, the YGs. And said side, let's get straight into this crazy beat. Brooklyn was getting attention for its drill scene, but the Bronx is coming with a whole new sound that's starting to make waves. K Block is one of the hottest rappers from the Bronx right now, racking up millions of plays on songs like Being Honest and PSA. Bronx drill may have the same bass lines and hard flow as Brooklyn and UK drill, but it has its own unique sound that's influenced by classic New York hip hop. Most of the beats have classic samples laced in with distorted 808s that gives the music a different vibe. Yeah, that's like love it too, man. They all got the same sound. riding stuff. away with his new sound and has been building a buzz over the past few months. But his come up ain't just been all success. He also suffers from the pain and loss that comes with the street life, losing many friends to gun violence. K Flock hopped off the curb at a young age and was on the block at like 12 years old. He started rapping because of his homie Dougie B, who's also a rapper and has been featured on multiple tracks. Let me know if I should react to Dougie B. I don't know him, but I know he's K Flux Bridging now, so I, already I'm picking shit up. But a rapping because of his homie Dougie B, who's also a rapper and has been featured on multiple tracks. K Flock's first official track was a remix of the 22G song, Licky Game Freestyle, which he titled FTO. 22G's then gave K Flock a shout out in a recent interview showing love to the Bronx drill movement. In August 2021, he remixed Siggy Black's song, Dishonest, and called it Being Honest. That track quickly racked up millions of views and earned him a feature from G Herbo. There's Shout also rumors Herbo. that he recently signed a seven-figure deal and he's in a good position to take over the Bronx rap scene. But behind all of K-Flock's success is a deadly war that involves his own family members. He's from a blood set Shit. around... See, that's when it's crazy. Listen, when it involves family members, you know it's crazy, man. That's some South London shit. That's something you see in South London. Well, to be honest, it's everywhere. Beef and family members, but... In my head, it's like, is it really that deep, man? To the point where it's like, you, you want to lay down your cousins and pause, that's something mad. But if you want to start, like, beefing your cousins and your brothers and shit, like, that's crazy, fam. So it's never that deep in my eyes, to be honest. But it might be that deep. It might actually be that deep. It, it clearly, it, it probably is, and we're probably going to see why. On East 187th Street, in the hood on the south side. Southside is made up of Mac Baller Brims and Sex Money Murder, and they cool with the rolling 80s Crips. Southside beats with other gangs in the area, including the OGs, or Original Goons, and the YGs, or Young Gunners. At first, these two was the same gang and controlled a few different projects around Cortland Ave, not far from Southside. But one of the founders of the YGs crossed over another top member, so the dudes in his hood split off to form the OGs. Today, the YGs are one of the most hated gangs in the Bronx, and they beef with almost everyone. One of the YG's main rappers, named D Thang, is K Flock's blood cousin. The two rappers have been oh, dissing each other. Oh shit! Back okay. All right. Wait, wait. So, wait. Let me hear that again. Rappers named D Thang is K Flock's blood cousin. Okay, D Thang. What? So he's probably everyone. One of the YG's main rappers, named D Thang, is K Flock's blood cousin. Okay, so he's from where? He's the part of the YG. Right, where do where where are the YG's from? Like area area wise, because. I like to kind of just get an understanding of who's from where and, and you get what I'm saying. But that's mad. D Thang and K Flock are literally the only two flipping New York draw aside from pop that I've been introduced to so far. And they're cousins. That's crazy. 
the two rappers have been dissing each other back and forth. Do you think shocked the whole hood by dropping the Chicago? They're dissing each other. Wait, so I, did I not see a song with them? Or am I just bugging? <laughs> I don't know. The two rappers have been dissing Someone each other it. back and forth. Do you think shocked the whole hood by dropping a Chicago style drill track called Talking Facts, where he disrespects dead ops from damn near every gang the YG's beef with? But the beef ain't start with rap. Let me know if you want me to react to that. It began with multiple murders, followed by threats in music and on social media. In July 2021, a 19-year-old rapper who went by the name Ty Swish was shot in the head in the lobby of his apartment building. He ran outside after getting shot, but had been hit in the eye and quickly collapsed. A family friend and her two kids found him unconscious outside the building. He was rushed to the hospital, but he was dead at the scene. Witnesses say the gunman fled in a dark-colored four-door sedan, but was never identified. Friends and neighbors said Ty Swish was a good kid who never got in trouble, but he was allegedly from Sex Money Murder and they would quickly even the score for his death. A few days later, 13-year-old Jerry and Elliot was chased. 13? Come on, man. I don't care. I'm not trying to hear about no 13-year-olds involved, man. 13-year-olds should, well, I'll be rude. There's 13-year-olds that do fuckery, so I don't know, man, but 13? He's down and killed outside the Angels Cafe in the Belmont neighborhood of the Bronx. Jerry had just graduated from junior high and was turning 14 later that month. But even though he was young, he already claimed to be from the rolling 80s Crips. He had already got arrested eight times for robbery and assault and spent time in juvie. A friend of Jerry's said the Crips put him on when he was 10 years old and that she tried to warn him about the lifestyle, but he ain't listened. That's crazy. The murder was captured on surveillance footage and showed Jerry walking down the street with a friend. A black sedan is seen driving up alongside him, then coming to a stop. A mad shooter then hops out and shoots at both of them. His friend ran away, but Jerry falls and then crawls into a local cafe. He got shot in the legs and the chest and was rushed to the hospital. Do you know what's fucked? I think I've seen this on Twitter, you know. I think I've seen that clip on Twitter. That's crazy. That is so crazy. Now I understand the context to that, but that's sad. 13 year olds just getting linked down like that. And it's probably a big man that done it as well. But listen, I don't know about the beef, so I can't say it was warranted or it wasn't warranted. But in my in what I'm from what I'm seeing, 13 is crazy, like. And then crawls into a local cafe. He got shot in the legs and the chest and was rushed to the hospital, but later pronounced dead. The least thing Jerry's death was payback for killing Ty Switch. They don't know if he was the killer, but they believe he was there at the time of the murder. Just a oh, few hours shit. after Jerry got shit. So he was actually had something to do with the one before. See, this is crazy. 13 year was just, just it's crazy. I don't even know what to say. Let me just watch this video. He was a killer, but they believe he was there at the time of the murder. Just a few hours after Jerry and got chips, the Ops got their revenge and a 16 year old got killed and police think it was a payback hit. On Sunday, July 11th, a 16 year old rapper named Rod G's was shot while getting into an Uber. Rod G's was from the 800 YG's and the shooting is believed to be retaliation for the murder of Jerry and Elliot. Rod G's supposedly made fun of Jerry and death on social media right after it happened and the get back was immediate. He was on his way to the school. This is why, man, them need to stop dissing, man, because there's people that you're affecting when you're dissing on these tracks and they're going to want to come for you, man. Yeah, it's everywhere. To be honest, that's everywhere, but it's really happening in New York and America, like, because do you know what it is? You lot got burners on disposal. That's what it is. So it's like, like, America's just got burners everywhere. So it's like, cool, if you want to kill someone, you just... You can do that. It's it's not hard. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? But it's it's fucked. It's a sad. It's a sad cycle. Death on social media right after it happened, and the get back was immediate. He was on his way to the studio, and two men on scooters pulled up and started dumping shots into his Uber. The whole thing was captured on the driver's dash cam and quickly went viral on social media. The rapper got shot once before, but survived. His mom said he was trying to turn his life around and was focusing on his music career, That's but sad. he didn't get that chance, and instead became another casualty in this deadly war. But the case is still active and they're both minors, so there ain't too much public info available. With so many deaths on all sides, the beef between the YGs, OGs, and Seth's side was really heating up. On August 16th, K Flock dropped the track Is You Ready, where he disses multiple rival rappers, including his own cousin, D Thang. In the first verse, he says, Boy, ask my ops, it could get ugly. I could do shh, like Ice did Sunny. This is referring to the classic film, Paid in Full. 
in the movie, Mitch, one of the main characters, played by Makai Pfeiffer, has a younger brother who gets kidnapped for ransom. Oh, Mitch shit. tries to get yeah, the money, yeah, but yeah, he gets yeah, killed yeah. by Rico, played by Cameron, who steals the drugs to pay Sonny's ransom. Sonny gets killed. You know what's funny? Didn't they say that the guy who um, Rico is based off in real life, didn't he just get killed in New York as well recently? I know I'm not bugging, but I'm pretty sure it's funny. Killed by Rico, played by Cameron, who steals the drugs to pay Let Sonny's ransom. Sonny gets killed as a result, and come to find out, he was set up by his own uncle, Ice, who was mad at Mitch for kicking him out of the house. So in this bar, K Flock sends a shot directly to his own cousin, D Thang, and lets okay. him know he's not above setting them up. The song was big in New York and even got played on Hot 97. Yeah, family so as well, so it you makes can sense. probably guess how the ops felt about this. D Thang quickly hopped on social media and gave his thoughts. This brother looks at least. Well, I mean, at most, 16 or something. But again, I don't know. He could be a big man still, but <laughs> he looks like a youth. Guess how the ops felt about this. d thing quickly hopped on social media and gave his thoughts on the bar, saying, can't wait to see Auntie now. A few weeks later, <laughs> another nah. Rolling 80s member who was affiliated with K-Flock got murdered broad day. The victim was 16-year-old rapper Nas Roller. He was killed after two men hopped out of a Honda Accord and popped him in the head and chest in Seth Side's hood. Police said that Nas Rolla had a long criminal history and got arrested 18 times already, including 10 felonies no, dating back to May 2017. Crazy. He was recently arrested for gun possession and was fighting three other open gun cases. After his death, D Thing would hop on Instagram and sneak this Nas Rolla, who was his cousin K Block's right hand man, suggesting he might have got set up. Right around the same time Nas Rolla was killed, D Thing dropped Talk Facts, which is pretty much the Bronx version of Who I Smoke, where he disses all his ops, both alive and dead. On the track, he samples the song Somebody That I Used to Know by Got Ye and throws a sub at a different op in almost every bar. Some disses include Dougie Got Shot, but he's still in recovery, sending shots at K Flock's homie, Dougie B. He also says, come on, oh, CJ, shit. you see me when I ain't see you. You ain't even make a move. So how the f when you see me, you gon' shoot. In this bar, he takes shots at another rival rapper from Cortland who dissed D Thing on the track Kidnap Who after D Thing said he was gonna kidnap Booba Savage, who was also featured on the track. Later, he raps, Jiggy Man, aka Shot Egg, dumbass got hit. That's word on my mother, they never do shit. Here, he's talking about a rapper named Shot Egg who's from the OGs and known to go by the name Jiggy Man. So, it looks like Bronx Drill is following the same pattern as Chicago and the UK. Rappers diss each other in songs and dishes. follow it up with real violence. What's really crazy is that a lot of them are under 18 and still That's in high school. Him, so really, sad, they don't fully sad, understand sad, the consequences sad. that come with the lifestyle they live in. Hopefully, they're paying attention to how hot it's getting in O Block and they cool it down before it's too late. But with so many lives lost on both sides, it's hard to see an end in sight. Man couldn't even give the video an outro or something, but yeah, man, that's it, really, man. That's, to be honest, it's, it's it's a sad cycle, man. But so what are you saying? What, is this beef a new beef? Because obviously, it sounds like he just started talking about like things that happened recently. So I'm guessing this must be a recent beef, but it might not be. But give me um, let me get, let me know where in the Bronx these sets are from, and more music from these guys you get what i'm saying because i want to react to some more music now man i heard one deep thing that on the radio shit was hard i ain't gonna lie so yeah man it's quite sad really to be honest but yeah i'm just reading these comments right now but yeah anyways guys man that's the end of the video make sure you guys like and subscribe man all right peter everyone he's mentioned you know what i'm saying don't get involved with this street life it's not worth it um but yeah subscribe follow my socials it should be in the description let me know what you want me to react to you and that's it man i'm out safe